in today's video, we're gonna talk about our type. Now, before I started playing games like Civilization, games like Frontier Elite 2, games like SimCity, you know, basically strategy games. I was this little kid back in the late, late 80s, early 90s, hitting up those arcades. Arcade gaming was just so big for me. Games like, you know, shoot em up games like Aerial Fighters. Beat em up games, fighting games like Art of Fighting. Or Sengoku. I was a huge fan of them, but this one, this Neo Geo game that's called Spin Master, oh man, it was so fun to hit the arcades with my friends and play that game two player. One of the games that made huge impact on me was R-Type. R-Type on the arcades was just mind-blowing and every time I played um, these great games on the arcade I wanted to have it in my home and try it on my you know Amiga okay World Commodore 64 <laughs> so these companies they made arcade conversions to our local computers at home and this one is on the Amiga R-Type 1 from Mid, it came, I think, at the arcade it came in 87 and for the Amiga it came in, what did it say just a second ago, did, did it say 89? Well, this game got converted to the Amiga and I'm telling you, this conversion is absolutely mind-blowing. I'm playing the game with my one of my favorite joysticks, this one here, from Quickshot, uh, model SV130. One superstar, quick joy. Okay, and I have got the auto fire on, of course. I don't want to click like just on the arcade, so I just push the button down and it will shoot like crazy. This game on the arcade had beautiful graphics. Okay, it was it was so cool, and I was a huge fan of you know putting in few bugs and just. Shoot aliens or whatever, dude. These old shoot 'em up games that you can just pick up and, and enjoy for some minutes and just be done with it. I was a huge fan of them, okay? And this game, I played this game at the arcade like crazy. And actually, when I had my Commodore 64, I, I didn't play this game. Um, I actually didn't know it existed for the Commodore 64, but when I got it for my Amiga, guys. I was just blown away. I mean, the Amiga conversion of this game, as you can see, can I use the word perfect? I think the Amiga conversion is... It is perfect. It's so good. And if you ask me, it's one of the best games for the Amiga. I mean, it's it's so great. And I... I, every time I play it, I really, really enjoy it. And not that I'm that good at it, but <laughs> I think, whoa, I think it's so cool. What's that? That's some graphical hero or what? I can't shoot it. Yeah. You can release that at the top here, pressing space. On the arcade, you had a second push button. Oh, that's nice. Of course, on the arcade, you didn't have the auto fire function, but there you have to you have to press like this and it was it was fun on our case to just mash those buttons it, it was really fun but here you can see the Amiga version this is our type one and still today it's actually one of my favorite Amiga games <laughs> it's my go-to game if I don't have that much time and I just want to try a game this is our type one let's exit that one and go into R and try R Top 2, as you can see, it says R Top Electronic Dreams 1989, right? If you go down here, R Top 2 Activation 1991. 
So our top two came in 91 for the Amiga. Uh, we are running, you are often asking how, what, where. We are running everything on my beautiful Amiga 1200, the best Amiga in the world, with a um, ACA 1232 at 40 MHz, 128 RAM, 16 GB compact flash card with all the games and demos. That's my config and it just got recapped. That's the configuration of the Amiga. We're using great speakers that I just love. As you can see, 89 IRM. Okay. <laughs> okay, it happens. So this is R Type 2. And it's a beautiful, beautiful conversion. I, I mean, I played R Type 1 for the most of it uh, because of my uh, nostalgic love from the arcades. I didn't play the second one on the arcades. I tried on the Amiga here, um, again, beautiful game. If you just are, uh, as you can see at the bottom, you have this blue bar that goes up. That happens if you just uh, hold the push button down, then you charge some sort of super power energy bar. And then if you're an old guy like me that just wants to have auto fire, then you can just click that on and hold the button down and you will shoot like crazy. Really like this game. This is R-Type 2. I, um, I found out about other version, R-Type Neo, I think, newer, and R-Type for the Super Nintendo. I wanna film them also, but uh, I just wanna say, if you have an old Amiga laying around and if you are thinking about, oh man, those old shoot em up games, they were, they were awesome, I wanna play it again, then just unpack everything and get a hold of our type, our type one and two. What's going on? <laughs> it happens. And just have fun. Really, really amazing, amazing games, guys. So yeah, that's my review of this. Um, these two games. I don't know what happened. I recapped the Amiga. Maybe that's an issue now. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, my turbo review of Arcade 1 and 2. The second one is from 89. Wow, man. Amazing, amazing Arcade conversion. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you want to check this game out. Let's give it a go just one more time. I don't know if it will crash again, but... Let's get over there and see what's going to happen. It happens, guys. We're running at an old 30 processor. The old 30 is maybe... Of course, these games are programmed for the 60,000. But with WHD load, you can use the 020, 030. You can use 040 or 60, but they have some compatibility issues. But the 030, if you ask me, speed, contra, Compatibility, I really love the 30. But as you saw just a second ago, you can still experience some compatibility issues. But try to game on an 060 or 40, then I can tell you a lot of issues. <laughs> but WHD load gets uh, better every day, so. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. But multitasking is not my uh, exactly same place. It happens, <laughs> it crashed. Have a great day out there. Retro Jenko out.